Back in my day, if you wanted to listen to music while you were on the go, you had to carry around one of these, okay? If you wanted to make a call, you had to find a payphone, put some change in it, call somebody. You had to remember their phone number. If not, yeah, maybe a phone book, but good luck. If you want to play a game, you had to walk around one of these. Now, I don't have the original Game Boy, but this one fits much better in your pocket, but still okay and then finally if you wanted to watch something like entertainment like like a video or something or tv you had to walk around with one of these <laughs> i know right this thing is huge it's like uh i don't know it's like a brick literally i mean it's like you could you could build a house out of these if you had like uh i don't know like hundred thousand of these you could mortar them together and build an entire house i'd actually like to see that but anyways this is the sony watchman now this is an older <laughs> older version of it they had smaller newer versions but i'm just trying to prove a point here not, i'm not even trying to prove a point i don't know what i'm doing oh this is an intro to the video of what i'm, uh, what I'm doing <laughs> so this is my next mod that i'm going to be working on the sony watchman now I got this in a flea market in Detroit, of all places. I was visiting there. Actually, I was going to see uh, Bob Seger in concert last year. And uh, and we stopped at a flea market. And the guy wanted uh, 25 I think, for this. Now, this thing's complete. It's really good shape. Uh, just a, It's more just dirty. You know, it just needs a really good cleaning. But um, it even has the power adapter which is ridiculous so you know granted i don't know how long the battery life was on this thing so if you're like oh i'll just bring the uh the the charger not the charger but it's just a power supply i'll just bring the power supply with me too you gotta lug this thing around look at this like you're gonna need a suitcase for pretty much like what a smartphone does smartphone that just scratches the surface to what a smartphone does but like look at this this is like maybe a third to a fourth of the size of the unit itself. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous, man. It's like people who say the GameCube's a small console. Well, yeah, it's small because there's no power supply in it. You look at that power supply and it's like a quarter of the size of the entire console. So people are, you know, thinking, oh, it's so portable. Well, like, yeah, but how are you going to power it? You know what I mean? So if you put the power supply in it, it's the same size as a PS2, you know? Anyways enough of my rant there so this is our next mod project you're thinking well, what are you going to do with it i'm going to now it does function but it doesn't function good the screen is really crappy let me uh, actually fire it up and, and show you real quick so i have it plugged into power uh the cool thing about this thing you know thinking back in the day the cord is really long so i mean it's probably it's probably 10 feet long so i mean you could like plug the you know plug it in and kind of walk around i guess somewhat portable but um so you can see the screen's kind of like got this weird trapezoidal uh thing going on i thought maybe if i left it left it on for a while maybe it would kind of warm up and expand but it, it hasn't it's simply that like that um i'm sure there's some I, I tried adjusting all these knobs over here actually well that's brightness no so whoops <clears throat> i tried adjusting all the knobs and stuff and couldn't get it to properly stretch back out as you can see there's uh uhf vhf none of that matters anymore because we are all digital and it's got this av input right it's like blue i've never seen one before in my life so i thought well what would happen if i like stuck a yellow composite cable in it you know I at least get video so i so as you can see i got my gamecube right here and uh it doesn't quite fit but if i stick it in i hold it in and kind of tilt it a little bit you can see the gamecube like memory card screen there you go so i don't know what kind of nonsense this av cable is yeah i don't think you could really play games like this i honestly don't but if it did work I can see someone toting around like a an Atari or an original Nintendo system 
and uh, taking it to like a, a McDonald's or, you know, a Taco Bell with a power plug and sitting there and maybe playing a couple games with their friends. I mean, you know, back in the day we did stuff like that. I didn't personally, but I've seen, I've seen people do stuff like that. But anyway, so as you can see, it's kind of functional, but not. So, so what I'm going to do is take it apart clean it up a little bit not i'm not gonna like paint it or anything or get go crazy but i'm gonna get all the major dirt scuffs off and get it get it nice and clean and take all the internals out i'm gonna throw a raspberry pi a new lcd screen uh and make it a little a little portable portable game console you know um i'm gonna add a usb somewhere on here i don't know where exactly I'm thinking maybe this this carrying strap hole. I'll take that little pin out and dremel that out. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks to be about a perfect fit. I really don't want to mess with the exterior of this at all. Really, I don't want to do anything to it um, other than you know clean it up. Now, I want to use the power button. I want to retain that. The headphone jack, I would like to retain that. Maybe volume. Uh, don't know why I wouldn't be able to. The tuning, I don't think I can do anything with. Uh, brightness and contrast, um, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to uh, make put that onto the new LCD screen because those do use you know brightness and monitor. The V hold, I'm not, I don't even remember what V hold means. It makes it worse. So it's the make make it worse button. And then the AV in, it depends on the LCD screen I get. If I get the like the NTSC style ones that I've seen, then it does have two inputs ports, so I could I, I could just switch that out with the yellow composite, and then I'm gonna probably I don't know I might just keep the speaker that's already in here, but so yeah power this stuff I don't know what I'll you know I, if I come across a, a, a what do you call it a instance where I'm gonna need a button or a switch I guess I could use like this so yeah I'm gonna try to retain everything in here I might even keep the antenna. Anyways, that is the plan so far. Now, I've been looking online like crazy for screens, screens and stuff, and I haven't been able to find, obviously, like this size screen, which is really weird. It's a really weird size. It's like, it's not even 4.3, it's like 4, 3.5 ratio. It's really weird. Weird. So there's going to be, there's more than likely there's going to be like black bars on the top and bottom. But there's plenty of space in here for like a pie and all kinds of stuff. I mean, shoot, I, can, I don't know what I can do. Here's the battery door. Here's this. I'm going to keep the strap and everything. I'm going to use the case. So people are going to be like, see me walking around like, what a hipster this guy is. And then they'll be jealous because I'll be playing all my fun retro games and stuff on it. So I have to now get to the disassembly. Let's see, when was it made? Ooh. Manufactured. 1985. This thing is older than I am. I gotta treat it gently.
Okay, so we have everything disassembled and I've salvaged everything that I think I might need for the project. I don't know if I'm going to be able to implement everything, but I'm going to try. Uh, I definitely want to have the external look to be about the same, just cleaned up and stuff. Um, but as you can see, I have the two sides of the case, the center part, uh, battery cover, speaker, um, volume, tuner, power button, etc. So next step is finding a screen that will fit in here and getting a pie and getting a rough, a rough uh, sketch going. Here we have the Raspberry Pi in its delicious packaging. Next we have the TFT LCD backup camera screen. Very cheap and not that great but it works. Next we have the 3.7 volt 2800 milliamp battery and we have the monoamp soundboard from Adafruit. Last but not least the PowerBoost 1000C also from Adafruit. Here I have everything up and running, test fitted, make sure it all works. To the point now where everything's kind of just finalizing the placement of everything. And here it is. It's all done. It's about 80% um, feature complete. Uh, I originally planned on doing a lot more with this, but for reasons I'll explain in a second, um, I only did pretty much the bare, not bare minimum, but less than I originally planned to, but still a working great unit. So, as you can see, so far, nothing, nothing new. Let's take it out of its carrying case. And here's the unit itself. As you can see, it's pretty standard. Nothing uh, has changed. You'll notice maybe the screen's a little different. Obviously, it's not a CRT anymore. This is different here. This is a yellow co uh, composite input instead of whatever it was before. Everything's here it's the same except for we got a USB right here. Everything's pretty pretty standard. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, there we go. Have a RetroPie controller here, or not a RetroPie controller, a uh, eight bit dough. Maybe it'll pair. Maybe it won't. There we go. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's a fully functioning uh, RetroPie. Let me go ahead and uh, I'm definitely not opening Mario. Let me move it a little closer here, so you can see. As you can see, the um, uh, the TV tuner stuff is the windows open now um, kind of actually prefer it because I can look down inside and see the all the indicator lights and stuff we have sound classic Tetris music the volume does work it's not 100% working um, correctly but it's about as good as it's going to get for now there is the completed unit. The outside remains almost completely stock, which I really like. But, yeah. Let me go ahead and open it up and show you what it's like in the inside, said the serial killer. Alright, so basically, I just want to show you real quick. It's only uh, six screws to open it up. You got these four right here. That Sony conveniently places the arrows next, so I love that they do that with like most of their electronics. Like, hey, you want to take this apart? Here's some giant arrows. And then also there's two more. It's a little bit tricky. I don't want to like, I don't want to blast on it. Yeah, all right. Just uh, got to be kind of careful with it because it doesn't have as much structural support as it did. So yeah, you open this up, <clears throat> and then there's two screws in there. One. One on the left there, one on the right. Okay, so I took the six screws off. And now, flip back over. And you can take the top off very slowly. You can see we got the speaker and the monitor are kind of hard glued into the top itself. There's an, I left enough slack in the wire to... So you can set it aside if you need to. Kind of out of the way. And then here's the inside. 
Now we got the battery. We got the Pi, and then on top of the Pi, I mounted the the power boost and the mono amplifier. I uh, made sure to put a piece of electrical tape in between the mono amp and the top of the Ethernet box because it'll ground it out. <laughs> you don't want that. Here is the power switch unit. As you can see, I just pretty much used some hot glue to hold everything together, just sparingly, and I tried to make it look relatively nice. Um, here we have the, the, the power jack, the DC barrel plug. Right here, I, I used the original one and I just rewired it and I ran it to the power boost. Yeah, I mean, pretty simple. If anyone, if anyone has any specific questions on what I did, then feel free to throw it in the comments and I'll try to answer. The little TV screen has two inputs. Uh, so I ran one to the Pi and then I put one here conveniently to this AV. It's there and if you want to, you know, hook like a Nintendo up to it or a Sega or something, you can do that. There's no sound, but obviously, but you can do that. It's pretty simple inside. Um, cable management is pretty good. There's plenty of room. Uh, I was originally going to use this battery here. Hold on a second. This guy. This is like a, jeez, I don't even know, 20,000 milliamp battery. This thing would have lasted for a really long time. This one is a 2,800 milliamp so that one's almost 10, uh, probably about like eight times larger. This will probably last about five hours or four or five hours, give or take. Yeah, if anyone has any questions, just feel free to ask. This USB right here is running to the external port right here. This USB is powering the screen. I hardwired the mono amp to the power boost. About halfway through this project, I came up with a way better idea of something to do. And instead of just tossing this to the side, I decided to finish it to uh as quickly and best as i could but not to do everything i wanted to so things like you can see through this bottom part of the the screen here where it's empty you know i would cover that up i was going to add leds to this um tv tuner little bar, uh, empty bar here i was going to add leds that would uh show you like the pies on the pies access lights on the power boost lights are on and stuff like that but basically it's like I came up with a, a a better version of this, and I didn't want to just throw this out, so I wanted to finish it and show something for it and kind of proof of concept. So, for the for the um, all intents and purposes, this is Watchmen Mark One. I. I don't know the Watchmen Play Mark One. I. I thought of a way to like make it like kind of go with the theme, like Watchmen, like maybe like the Game Man, but when you say it really fast. It's gay man, gay man, the watchman, the play man. I don't know. I'm going to say, so I'm going to say the watchman play. I don't know. So this is the watchman play Mark one. And so stay tuned for the Mark two. That's a little bit. It's going to be a little bit down the road. I don't have anything for it yet. Um, and I have like, I'm working on like four other projects right now at the same time. So this one I'm going to consider done. I might go back uh, in the future if I'm bored and finish it for the time being. It's done. It plays. You can have fun with it. Take it out do whatever but if anyone has any questions please feel free to ask me i love answering and helping people with stuff so here it is thanks